Dude, we're not open yet. My daughter just needs the bathroom really quickly. Dude, just 10 minutes. We're not open yet. Okay, okay it'll just be one moment, okay? It'll be just... Susie? Not nice. Okay. Go pick yourself out something nice. I'm gonna go clear out the safe, take care of our cashier friend here, okay? I could do it last time. Honey, not until you're 13. Uh -huh. Don't pout. Listen, after we're done here, we'll go get some ice cream. Okay. Okay. Go get something nice, honey. <laughs> said it was impossible, but I knew better. Oh, Red! <laughs> Sorry. Didn't your date want some ice cream? No, thank you. Oh, oh, careful, Lily. I'm sorry, Mr. Cream Cheese. I didn't even see you there. <laughs> That's all right. I'm just going to get Susie some ice cream. Oh, where's Mrs. Cream Cheese? She's away, on business, for a little while. Oh, well, I hope there's ice cream wherever she is. I'm sure there is, Lily. Okay, well, tell your wife I said hi. I never liked your mother. Why don't you get a real job? We never talk. You never buy me flowers. You <laughs> oh, there you are, Red. Where'd Mrs. Beacon spell go? Oh, don't worry. You can't be one of the world's greatest detectives if you're a slave to the poon. Oh, snap! Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, no. Don't be such a robo-baby. Someone needs our help. Come on! Sergeant Walker, Sergeant Walker, Sergeant Walker, did something happen? Something Nothing bad? Nothing happened, Lily. Something terribly bad? No, you can't be hanging out here. Something Samuel L. Jackson Not bad? Not even Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five bad. This is just a simple breaking and entering case. Look, Lily, you can't be hanging out at this crime scene. Gosh. We got a positive ID on that body. <gasps> a body? There's no body. Is it a dead body? Nobody's dead. I saw a dead body last week. I don't care, Lily. And the week before that, and the week before that. I see dead bodies all the time, and I don't think it affects my delicate emotional development. So I can see this dead body. God damn it, Spectre! I was this close to making her go away. What did I tell you? You mean about the secret cave and the seven glorious rings of ivory? No, about that girl and the robot not being on our crime scene. Oh, you, you said that they were annoying gadflies always buzzing around a crime scene and that unless I wanted to face the tectonic fires of Mount Walker, I would keep my blowhole shut around them, sir. Exactly. Which, with all due respect, sir, seems like kind of a major mixing of metaphors. Oh, I'm not mixing my metaphors. Now I want you to get the hell in there and find out why there's some kid leaking all over this toy store! He's really not bleeding all that much anymore. Go! You hear that, Red? We've got a leaker. Come on! Don't worry, Sarge. We're here to help. Is it true you poop your pants when you die? I mean, really, poop your pants? I, I don't know. I mean, I... Damn it, Red! For whatever reason, my best friend and partner left her daughter in your custody when she died. Do you think that a responsible guardian would have brought her here? Oh! 
I'm going across the street to get a sorbet. Inspector, I've got your nose, and I'm keeping it because you're a screw up. This is icky like boogers. Red, why don't your crime centers pick up on this? Hey, wait. Wasn't there a robbery homicide at a toy store earlier this week? I knew it! I bet it's the same jerk face! Hey, wait, look! Oh, Mr. Crunchy, I didn't even see you there! That's okay, Lily. I'm just going to go get Susie some ice cream. Tell your wife I said hi! Oh, no. Oh no, something bad. I don't get it. Mr. Cream Teas always seems so nice. Wait, why didn't your robo sensors pick up on this? Lactose intolerant? You're lactose intolerant? You should never have had ice cream. I don't get it. Why didn't you tell me we're trying to be two of the world's greatest detectives? That's a big sponsibility. Well, at least one of us is serious. You know what? I'm going to go to the cream cheese's house to solve this case alone. <laughs> My little princess, there's no more toy stores left. We've robbed practically all of them. All that's left is a single model shop, and that's for creepy old men, not little girls. Why don't we just relax at home today? We'll play with your new toys. We'll play Barbie Horse Adventure. Sure, Daddy. We can play. How about you start the game, and I'm going to call the police and tell them all about Mommy's little accident. And then when they get here, we can have a Barbie tea party with cake and everything. Honey, there's no need for No, all... there isn't. Because you and I are going to get in the van, we're going to go to the store, we're going to knock out the clerk, you're going to clean out the register, and it'll be just like always, right, Daddy? Not nice. What? You! Daddy! Yes, Pumpkin. I'm sorry, Lily. I didn't want to have to do this. Shoot her! Shoot her now! I'm your princess and I said shoot her, so shoot her! How, how can you hurt all those people? I didn't want to, Lily. It was Susie. She made me. She wanted me to buy her a tickle me Terry Shoot her! Shoot her! Shoot her! Red! Daddy, why does she have a robot? Now I know! Kill it! Spectre, get him out of here. I'm sorry for ever doubting you, red old pal. Can you ever forgive me? Well, it appears that all your snooping around actually led to something. Uh, apparently the uh, cream cheeses have been uh, hitting off some toy stores for the past three months or so. We didn't have any leads, but when we got the ballistics reports... Mr. Cream Cheese's gun matched up with all of them. I don't get it. Mr. Cream Cheese was always so nice to me. Well, Mrs. Cream Cheese turned up missing about a year ago. We couldn't find her anywhere. No leads at all. Turned up she was hiding in the one spot we didn't check. A shallow grave in the backyard. What? Apparently there was some sort of altercation around Christmas time over a Tickle Me Terry Hatcher doll that little Susie didn't get. She was so upset she grabbed the fireplace poker and started chasing Mrs... Well, Mr. Cream Cheese covered it up. Then Susie used that as leverage and made him go on a bunch of robberies to keep it a secret. I don't understand it either, Red. But that's up to the courts to decide. Not an old, crusty detective like me. That's right, Sarge. You're the oldest and the crustiest. Lily, please don't interrupt me when I'm Sam spading. Sorry, Sergeant Krusty Briefs. Uh, it's okay. I'll tell you what, I'll take you out for an angry rainbow. You deserve it. Thanks, and... Can Red get something, too? Only he should get a sorbet, because apparently robots are lactose intolerant. So am I, Lily. So am I. <laughs> <laughs>